So hello everybody! It is not Friday, but it is time for another DAX Fridays. A new DAX find shown every Thursday. So in today's DAX Fridays, we're actually going to talk about DAX function. We're going to talk about the function that was released on the March 2021 update, which is called If Eager. I was not really sure what it was when I did the review of the Parvey desktop update, but I think I have a better idea of what it is now. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So they had released in March a new function called If Eager. And what they say on their blog, it was basically that it performs better on certain situations. They say use if normally, but in certain cases you might want to use if eager. And I was wondering, like, I wasn't really able to explain it to you because I didn't know what an eager evaluation is. So I've been reading and it seems like an eager evaluation is something that is fairly common in programming. And what it does is you basically evaluate things early in, for example, an if loop. So they have here an example. We're going to use the same example, and I'm going to try to explain what I think all this means. Okay, so they have, let's, let's open Power BI. This is the Northwind data set that we always use, and we're going to create a new measure, and we're going to do an if function. So the if that they had on their example. So it said if uh, total sales was bigger, don't worry about the actual meaning of the function, it doesn't mean a lot, but just so you get the concept. If total sales is bigger than previous year's sales, which is that one, then total sales, otherwise total sales minus previous year. That's exactly the example that they gave us, okay? So normally if there is any function, you will write it like that. Is there something wrong with this? No, except for performance. So if you have big models, you will probably see that this does not perform very well. So this is something that you probably already know if you're using variables, just to let you know. But what is happening here is that the, this statement, the total sales measure, is being evaluated three times. One for comparing versus previous year, another one for the total sales, and another one for this one. Okay, for the, having this subtract if that is the, the case. Now, for this case, they recommend to use if eager because, I'll tell you, let me write first, let me show you. The syntax is actually going to be the same. So we're going to go in here. The way you will use it is if eager equal, and then we're going to paste the same, but instead of if, we're going to put eager. So it says first the logical test, which is a equal bigger than, and then if true total sales is false, right? So in syntax, no difference, which is actually a good thing. So what is the difference then? Now I'm going to show you what it does in the background. So probably a synthesis sugar for what I'm about to write. Let me show you. So if I write here, if variables, and then we write the first variable, which is our sales, or current year sales, we can call it. Current year sales is equal to total sales. And then we create the second variable, which is going to be previous year sales, you're used to do that. You're probably writing these this way, right? Uh, if you know how to use variables. And then you put return. And then here you do the if statement. What is that if? It's been bothering me. So if, now you do uh, current year sales, but now you use the variables, right? Bigger than uh, previous year sales. Then current year sales, otherwise current year sales minus previous year sales. Okay, so what is the difference between this if and the other if? And as you can see here, we've created two variables and these two things get executed first. So Power BI goes and calculates what is the total sales and then it calculates what is the previous year sales and then when it's already calculated, it goes into the if and does its thing. 
So it just is scans or works through the table once instead of doing it like they were, it was doing it here once for each case, one here, one there, and one there. And that, that is the huge difference. So you are going to see an improvement when using this, but instead of having to write everything, all the variables, all the stuff, all the things, you can just write it eager and it will do that for you. So that's all. That's all there is. So if you have problems with if performance and you're in these type of scenarios, use if eager. Otherwise, use if or switch. And on April update 2021, they, they improved the performance of both if and switch. So, hallelujah. That's very, very good news. Okay, I hope this makes it cl clearer what uh, if eager is doing and now you know when to apply it. So... I hope to enjoy the weekend. I will see you again on Tuesday with probably, I don't know, maybe a flow video, maybe something else. We'll see. But I will see you on Tuesday either way. So until then, take care. Bye bye. So hello, everybody. It is Friday. So it's time for another Dice Fridays. A new. No, it's not Friday. So hello, everybody. It is not Friday, but it is time for another Dax Fridays, a new Dax function every Thursday. <laughs>